Yeah. Press the cut button. All right. Okay, so this is... Oh, God. They made AC longer? Oh, no, that, that's the correct one. Yeah. Okay, so you have a triangle ABC. Yeah, you have the in-circle, um, minor arc points. Okay, so let's just set this up. So here's a triangle. I got... And then here's the... In center. Okay, and then X and Y are two points on. Okay, well, let me draw the EF first. Uh, oh, did I misspell intersect? Uh. Okay, and then the condition is what? BXD equals DYC. That is a strange condition. <laughs> uh, TD and AI me on gamma. Okay, anyway, how do I do BXD equals CYD nicely? Uh. How do I make the GeoGebra gods happy? T be the point such that KT is tangent to T. Yeah, I'm trying to think if there's a way I can draw the diagram like slightly backwards. So, okay. K almost doesn't depend, like, so. TD and AI meet on Omega, T is- okay, um, do I think it's going to be the north one or the south? It's probably... TD, AI, meet on... Oh no, Omega's the circumcircle, never mind. So, that's actually literally the arc midpoint. Um, so, this is going to be the, the intersection point. T is- wait, this problem has no degrees of- what? T is that point? Okay, T is the, um... Yeah, I, I thought Omega was the in-circle and I was getting like, oh, this feels really bad. But, oh, this is very different. Um, because, so, from the problem condition, it's telling us that, um... Line... Why, why did it not meet where it needed it to? Sorry, it's not perpendicular. Line MD and line help. How do you spell perpendicular? Damn it. Uh Line to DEF, line EF, line. Okay, thank you for humoring me. Yeah, it's, it's this point. I've seen this point several times before. Um, so T is supposed to be this point, and then so K is going to end up being intersect line AT, line BC. So if you ignore X and Y and do the problem in the other order, um, you know, this is all. Is Ki that polar point? I don't remember. Uh, well, okay. Why is that circle? Yeah, so uh, from the condition that they're supposed to meet here, M is this arc midpoint, so T is like that point up there. Um, 
whose name I can't remember. And then K is going to be determined. So it would... It's more like I want to show that if X is like a random point on this... On here, and then um, Y is like the intersection point. Then I want angle BXD to be equal to angle CYD. Where DYC is from, right? Why are they not equal? What did I mess up? <laughs> no! Uh, oh, I, I didn't read. Um, K is supposed to be the point such that this is tangent, not the... Okay. So, K was supposed to be the intersection of line BC and the tangent to omega T. So, TK is here. Okay, now the angles are equal. That's what, that's better. Um... Okay, great. So here's the f completed diagram after a bit of stumbling. Um, freaking. Uh, I'm gonna color this red and this red as well. I, I, cause all the stuff in red is sort of the points that are like not specific to this problem. Like in center, that circle, etc., are all pretty standard. This is pretty standard. So the points that I haven't seen before are like, I haven't seen this point K. So this K looks like it's specific to the problem, kind of. And this line KX, it's like some random line. Um, which is fine. But then you look at this picture, um, are BX and DY just parallel? Like, is this going to be, I have a homotopy at K mapping? I can actually vary the diagram and check. Oh, yeah, they might just... It might just be parallel. <laughs> really? That's so weird. Uh, da, da, da. Actually, maybe that's not that weird. So, it's like... Okay. If I want there to be a homotopy, um, what I need is tx times ty to be td squared, so that, it, like, yeah, I get this tangent thing, and let me write that down. So we think that, well, okay, by power of a point, tx times ty is equal to td squared. And we want td squared is equal to tb times tc, because if so, there will be a homotopy that um, takes the bxd into dyc. Okay, so tb times t so td squared equals tb times tc is. Yeah, BX is just parallel to DY. I'm like very confident that's what's going on. I, I think these two triangles are just homothetic. Um, uh, wait, we, we need one more thing, right? It, so we if we have TD squared equals TB times CC and... Um, TY over TX. Wait, let me make sure I get this right. It's like, I, I want like TY over TX equals TC over TD equals TD over TB or something, something of this shape. Like I want this homotopy to move that thing there. Fine. Uh, should I draw the other tangent? I should probably draw the other tangent, right? Um, so we're going to let S be the other point for which K is tangent because 
I feel like it's really unnatural to only consider one of these. And the question is, what is the point? S. I don't. <laughs> moving points is. Uh, I don't want to see moving points. Wait, I'm confused how. Am I crazy? Like, the X, Y, C are actually cyclic, right? Is what's gonna happen? Yeah... Wait, I'm sorry, I'm a clown. Um, yeah, there's no way they can be parallel. Wait, there's no way. Am I? Am I? St I don't like this. So something's weird. Um, I'm gonna distort them. I feel like it's not possible for this to be homothetic because the arcs don't do the, quite the right thing. Yeah, sorry, there's no universe in which they're homothetic. Uh, the so I think it's it's actually an opposite similarity, or something like that, where... <sighs> Hang on, let, let me make sure I'm getting this right. X, B, D... No, that's not true, but... Yeah, sorry, I ignore this thing, this is not true. Oh, uh, what? But it is, it is at least true TX times TY is TD squared, I th because it the BXYC is always cyclic. So that, that part is fine. I think I'm just confusing myself why the angles are equal. But in general, if I have a... What? No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh. Okay, so if it's cyclic, this angle is equal to this angle. So well, there's like some inversion crap happening, right? I, okay. I think I just need the cyclic. Ign ignore the thing I said about, about the homothony. The homothony is not true. Um, I'm being silly. But if if I can get the cyclic, then it does follow that the angles will be equal, which feels weird to me because I feel like I should have seen this picture before if it's true. Um, the way you see it is that this angle, this little angle here, KXB, um, because of the cyclic is equal to like YCD. And then inversion with this dxy means that kxd and kdy are equal. So that's why that is the case. Um, yeah, so as long as bxyc is cyclic, that will imply the green angles. So I can stop paying attention to those, because honestly, they're kind of distracting. And because tx times ty equals, or kx times ky, I keep saying t, but it's it's, it's k instead of t everywhere. Um, ah, that's what you're telling me. Uh, I'm used to t being the one that's on line bc, all right? <laughs> I would not call that North Point T. Okay, these are all Ks. Uh, um, yeah, as long as 
kd squared is actually kb times qc, you're all fine. So that means I can like forget about x and y now, because those were the points that were like really not very natural. And ignore these four segments, I don't care about them. And focus just on, in this picture, show that kd squared equals kb times kc. Um, which... Okay, but kb times kc equals kt squared. So actually I just want to show kt equals kd. That feels like it should just be... That's... okay. I feel like I should know this is true. Uh... K S D T. S D T is going to have circumcircle K. <sighs> so T is the center of this spiral similarity that maps um, T F B to T E C. This thing I remember. Um, is that relevant? I'm not. But. Oh, okay, no, th actually, this is th this is easier than that. So, this angle KTD, um, the me measure of that angle is equal to TBM, while the measure of angle KDT is, like, this arc TB plus this arc CM. So, actually, I don't even need this. This circle is actually not relevant. I lied. I don't need this. Um, it's literally just KT equals KD by straight angle chase, so that gives you KB, and then that finishes. Why is TFS collinear? It's not. The, the, it can't be collinear because it's not even symmetric. Like T and S are symmetric in A, B, C, um, so it can't pass through F. But we don't need S, which is a, kind of a surprise to me because I feel like this point feels pretty good, but I guess you don't need it either. So I think that's it. I, I think that's everything. Um, angle chase to get KT equals KD, gets you KB squared, KD squared is cable. KD squared equals KB times KC. And then. One more angle chase to get the x and y in. I'm gonna color all these gray because these four are really not that important. Same for ky. Well, this x and y do matter, and I don't need line ak either. So actually, I don't. This problem doesn't require any additional points. Like you can like, do it just with the points that are in the problem. Well, okay, I guess I had- I technically named M, but we kind of knew that point was there. Okay, great. Alright, so I think that's the whole thing. Um, cool. Okay, so if you're on YouTube, I'll probably cut the video here, just so you- because watching me type this up is probably not going to be that enlightening. Um, but thank you for tuning in. And yeah, see you next time.